Covering Wisconsin weather for 19 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, it is just one of those days where you want to stay inside. Once again today, temperatures running 10, 15, 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. Typically, we would see highs in the 60s, and so far today, it has been mainly 30s and 40s. Here's a look at the next seven days. It is going to warm up. But overall, temperatures are expected to remain below normal. 50s tomorrow afternoon, upper 40s for Thursday and Friday, and then some more 50s for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Right now, we have mainly 40s across northeast Wisconsin. It is 44 degrees in Chilton. We've got 46 in Oshkosh, but it's only 43 degrees in Oconto, and we're looking at 39 degrees in Fish Creek. Right now, in Green Bay, it is 41 degrees. The normal high for today, 61. We've got northeast winds at 14 miles per hour, making it feel even cooler out there. Wind chills are in the 30s. We have clouds, areas of fog, drizzle, and showers across all of northeast Wisconsin. You can see College Avenue is wet. It is 45 degrees right now in Appleton. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows a large area of rain from this morning lifting to the north. There was even some sleet and snow mixed in north and west of the Fox Valley earlier today. We had a break with clouds and some drizzle for much of the afternoon, but right now we're looking at another large area of mainly light rain moving across the heart of the NBC 26 viewing area. You can see we've got showers all over the place. Mainly rain, but there's still some snow across parts of northwestern Wisconsin, back into Nebraska and South Dakota. Here is our weather maker. It's an area of low pressure. It is cut off from the jet stream, so it really has nowhere to go. This is the system that has been producing all of the severe weather across the deep south for the last couple of days. It is going to be slowly working off towards the north and east here as we move through the rest of the work week. Precision cast shows a good chance for showers throughout the evening. Tomorrow morning, showers or some drizzle, but as we head into the afternoon, it looks like we'll start to see just enough dry air that we could see some sunshine, and the winds are going to turn to the south, which means we should warm up. Most spots should be running about 10 to 12 degrees warmer than what we saw today. Closer to normal, but still below normal. 53 degrees in Maribel, look for 55 in Embarrass. 57 in Oakfield, once again near Lake Michigan with a southeast wind. It'll be quite a bit cooler with highs only in the 40s. So tonight, showers and drizzle and foggy. Overnight lows around 40. Tomorrow, clouds and some sun. Showers will continue on and off throughout the day with temperatures getting up into the 50s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 54. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we'll donate $100 to Babes Incorporated. It is a child abuse prevention program located in the valley. So far, we have donated $1,800. Thanks to today, I forecast a high of 46, and the actual high was 44. Hopefully, we can add another $100 as we head into tomorrow. On Thursday, a good chance for some showers. A little bit cooler as winds turn back to the north and west. Showers on Friday cannot rule out a little bit of sleet or maybe some wet snow, especially north and west of the Fox Valley. On Saturday, sun and clouds, a chance for some showers, but once again, that sunshine will help to warm things up. It looks like mid to upper 50s. Sun and clouds on Sunday and Monday, mid to upper 50s. Thickening clouds on Tuesday as another system heads our way. Once again, with a gusty easterly wind off of Lake Michigan and some rain, temperatures will be below normal, ranging from the mid 40s to the mid 50s. Right now, I'm going lower to mid 50s as we head deeper into May. All right, hard to believe it's just flying by, huh? Yeah, May is quickly going to become June, mm -hmm. and hopefully by then we'll at least warm up, right? Oh, here's hoping. <laughs> uh, who knows, though? Huh? <laughs> well, we are focusing on pets with I Contributed, NBC26.com. And you're going to love these pictures. Mallory sent this to us. It's a shot of her granddaughter posing with chihuahuas. Aww. And Val shared this picture. Her